looks like Smirnoff Spiked Sparkling Seltzer, or Zero Sugar Seltzer, has a new Major League contender. What's happening? NJRoot22.com here with another low-carb keto carnivore chat slash booze review. And today it is about Michelob Ultra Seltzer or Michelob Ultra Organic Seltzer, or as some people like to say, Michelob Seltzer. This is a new seltzer that came out uh, recently, in our opinion. This is the first real contender for Smirnoff Spike Sparkling Seltzer, or Smirnoff Seltzer. Let's just refer to it as Smirnoff Seltzer. Just a quick background here. There's a reason that Smirnoff uh, Seltzer was the top choice for since we've been drinking seltzer for the past couple of years it's because they had the best price point a decent alcohol content very low carbs one gram and like i think uh, a pretty solid price point as well and a couple other seltzers came in and threatened the heavyweight champ but it didn't really work out smirnoff always seemed to, to be our favorite because uh, some some of the other seltzers either made us feel like crap or they were a little too costly or whatever but this Michelob one is, is, I think, a really serious contender because, first of all, they're 4% alcohol, which is not a big deal for us because you still get a buzz. Uh, I figured out that you, to get the same buzz as nine uh, Smirnoffs, you'd have to drink 10 Michelobes. And at that point, who is counting? And also, this is one of the first seltzers that really is zero grams of carbs. And there's none of this, this artificial sweetener, the good sweetener, whatever it's xylitol or erythritol. There's none of that. It's just plain old alcohol. And I think they really taste good too. There's three flavors. Uh, there's peach, pear, uh, spicy pineapple, and cucumber lime. And they all taste delicious. If I had to drink them straight, I'd be really happy. They still taste really good even when watered down 50-50 the way we like to do. We're basically tying them right now for the moment for with Smirnoff because they hit all the right points and we, we like them a lot. The only reason they're not number one on their own is because they're just a couple bucks more per case, $2 more per case than Smirnoff. I don't know, if you add it up, that's uh, $100 a year. S staying tied makes me happy for now. Maybe if they go on sale, they'll be my number one seltzer. But we are drinking them just as often as Smirnoff. That's good. It's good to have competition in this world. That doesn't prevent us from trying all the other new seltzers out there because we just want to find out what's out there. We like experimenting. And that's it. If you like this video, please hit the bell and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.